सो वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू योर चैनल एक्सेंट कॉर्पोरेट दिस इज अगेन द पार्ट ऑफ द सीरीज ऑफ वीडियो विच वी आर डूइंग ऑन हाउ टू इंक्रीज योर वर्क प्रोडक्टिविटी एट ऑफिस एंड हाउ कंपनीज यूजली वर्क अराउंड एक्सेल एंड हाउ कॉर्पोरेट्स बिल्ड देर एम आई एस सो इन द सेम वे इफ वी टॉक अबाउट आवर लास्ट वीडियो विच वी हैड इट वॉज अराउंड कि अगर आपको कोई एम आई एस बनाना है बेस फाइल आपको कोई बेस फाइल कुछ ऐसा मिलता है लाइक दिस इज अ बेस फाइल विच यू माइट गेट फ्रॉम एस ए पी और टेली और समथिंग एंड इफ यू है हाउ यू कैन डू इट इन बाई मेकिंग एक्सेल टेम्पलेट इन अ डायनामिक टेबल कि यहाँ से यहाँ तक मैनुअल एंड यू हैव बिल्ड सम फॉर्मूलाज विच इज अगेन हैविंग सम वी लुक एंड एक्स लुक ऑल दीज थिंग्स इन द सेम फाइल यू हैव अ बैक एंड विच वी से दैट यू कैन हैव इट टू स्टोर योर मास्टर फाइल्स नाउ The problem with this is, if you talk of a big corporate, then they might have maybe fifty thousand customers. They can have ten thousand products. So, do you really expect? And the, already the sales data which we are working that might be running around twenty five thousand rows. So, do you expect that a single Excel file is it a good idea? That in a single Excel file you keep your customer master, you keep your product master, you keep every master in the same file. It's not right. So. the challenge come if you uh, link this file if you keep a customer master in some other file then there is again a external link issue which might break the links might break and it might have a reference issue which we do not want so how to solve this problem and this is an actual a problem uh, actually a problem in most of the companies on making their mis the data is a huge issue because the data is humongous there can be 10 lakhs or 20 lakhs of rows how do you deal with such a big data in excel if you have to do some work so that is when the power query comes to a rescue and power query is a feature inbuilt in excel so what is power query how do we use it everything we will be discussing but uh, before that before we discuss more about what power query is i would like to show you a small example of what power query actually does and then it is up to you to decide whether the same is uh, helpful for you or not so uh, you can remember this uh, uh, two reports which we made like uh, the gsti one table summary was the first one the accession summary was the next and the third was the customer the top 10 customers wise listing so these are the three mis which we need and the approach which we followed was everything in one single file right so i'll just down a bit for now now let me show you how a uh, things will work in a power query environment if you are working in a power query environment so what will happen your customer master is different it's in a different folder maybe uh, the product code are different the product master is different the state code is in different file nothing in this and your final power query file the pq file will look something like this okay let me just open it so now if you see this file you will find there is a pivot table okay make some room okay so there is a pivot table and the pivot table which we required the gst1 table wise pivot and the top 10 customer but apart from these two sheets you can see there is no other sheet okay there is no any other data now you might say hidden some sheets there is no hidden sheets okay they are in this table they are actually they are just these two data now the first question which will come to your mind is what is the source of this pivot table from where the pivot table is getting its data so you will if you go to the change data source you will see there is no any table or range from where the data is coming the data is coming from an external data source which is main query now what is main query that we will discuss but it is coming from external data source okay so i'll just open that external data source for you so let me just uh, do it over here and let me open the main sales data now the main sales data is the data where the actual sales details which we get from sap or maybe from tally or maybe from any accounting software is will be coming okay I'll just open this sheet. I'll just uh, make it visible for you both. Okay. So this is the data. These are the units sold, and uh, this is the data as we saw in the last video as well. कि आपको SAP से तो ऐसा data मिलेगा, but आपको report कुछ ऐसा चाहिए. Okay. So how do you make this report? In the last time we saw that we uh, made the same table. उसी file में we made the master, we made we look up, and we did all this thing, and we got this report. But this time these both are in different uh, files. and the beach mein jo jo working hai all the power query working that are happening somewhere else now when i update this data suppose 
the next month comes i am in september the next month comes october the the sales team says okay this is your updated data for october so i'll open this sales data updated sales data it will it will be very different from the one which is of september so i'll just open it he says this is your sales data for uh, october updated i'll say okay so this is my 1200 rows of new data so how do i again now to make a mis i won't repeat any process i'll just do it a copy so this is my updated sales data which is for october i will paste it in the main sales data which was there for september right so i'll just override this data i'll do a value paste now i've done a value paste now let me look at the pivot table which was there the final pq file so still it is showing same old data the, the 25 lakhs this is the same old data so i have updated the main sales data file i'll just close this file i'll i'll say save i'll close this file and now in this case when i do a hit a refresh now it is running a if it can see load dot net framework it is doing some loading it will connect to the data source which i have just updated the october one it is waiting for the query to be executed it is connecting to the data source you can just see that how background works are moving the data amount was 25 lakhs earlier now let's see how much is changes now it is connecting to your data source it is making all those calculations in backend there is no any files where this is happening and it is running background query you can see it at the right that is running a background query and it will be updated in some time now it has got updated now when i did this the this pivot got updated 19 lakhs 30 19 crores 30 lakh this is a new figure i did not have to do anything simply i updated that file in some folder and this automatically added all those columns which was required it made that in a pivot and it updated me with the new figures and even the top 10 customers this got updated to see this total 19 lakhs 30000 is the same as this is the same as this so this is what power query is all about like you don't have to have everything in the same file you can have those in into multiple files like i was uh having so these are the five sets of file which i use the customer master the customer master is something here the final pq file is the file which i was having over here which has the main uh, query and the main pivot tables main sales data is the data which you have to update manually this you have to do uh, by yourself you have to isi file mein update karna hai product code and state code you can keep on whenever a new product is added you can add it over here so now how these things work so in this particular video we will not talk about how it works that's again for the next one but i will just give you a hint of how the things have been uh, working so for this power query is very important okay so do you have power query or not in your system you can simply say uh, you can know by clicking on data in your tab and whether you have this get data option if you have this get data combine queries all these are coming it means you have a inbuilt power query in your excel system which is usually available in excel 2016 and beyond in case you do not have it still you have a good news you can add a addins of a power query okay and that's free to use you can have power query even with the 2010 or 2007 excel versions you can now how to install a power query again you can do some google and you can do that on your own that's not a very big deal <clears throat> but if you have the power query then in the data tab you go to queries and connections now you will see i have five connections into this file okay so what is a connection and what <clears throat> how actually to make it that will discuss but just what uh, if you I'll, if i just give you a hint of uh, how things are working so let's see customer master so i needed customer master for the name of the customers which we have over here the updated the 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 power query me that we had the name of the customer the top 10 customers for that we need the customer master the product master was required uh, for okay so this is the customer master this is a product master and this is a state code master and all these are from where these things are coming so you can just say you can just see on advanced editor and you will see the source of this excel workbook is this youtube channel excel power query pq tools excel template and state code masters so this is the same location as this <clears throat> excel power query power query full tutorials tools and template in pq excel template in pq in pq then state code masters so from this file from this particular file 
the details are being extracted and that is being stored in the state code master that's a query that's basically a connection same case for product master if you go to advanced editor you will see that we have been extracting it from same excel template in pq product code masters dot xlsx okay this is the same as this file now it is possible that you can keep it into a different folder as well i have kept it in the same folder you can keep it anywhere the source needs to be written over here that where the file is so in that way the connections have been built from all those files into these queries now these need not be loaded into a file matlab this will not occupy space in your this folder because it is just a con connection okay so this is just a connection so since it is just a connection it do not need space in your current uh, file so it's a very lightweight file and these are the connections and this is the main query if you see the main query in the main query you can see that we have uh, done all that thing we have brought in the hsn we have brought in the name of the customers the character then the state name then sales amount taxable amount all those calculations we have done in this power query and then we have just loaded means ye jo main query hai you can just see that these four are just connections these are not the data into this file okay but the main query has been loaded when i click on main query this gets highlighted because this is the uh, main thing now means ye jo main query hai isi ka pivot table hai this one so that is why you do not see the data but the data is in form of a query okay now if you are hearing all these things for the first time it might be very intimidating and very confusing but uh in the next video we will walk step by step and then you can see so i'll just give one last thing and then we will uh, close for uh, this video if i hit load if i want to load this particular thing if i want to hit in a table and if i say new worksheet and uh, in a new table new worksheet give me the table so it's kind of table that might be deleted okay let me see if it gets me the data okay yeah i got me the data so this is the data which was always there but it was never shown to you because it was in form of fiber table but when i wanted to extract the data i could always extract it like this so yeah i think it will be too much of information for now but yeah so uh, this was what i wanted to show you and uh, we will be discussing uh, more about uh, let me just stop share for now okay so uh, you could see that in the in the last video what we did was it was in the same file we had everything we had all the masters the customer master and everything was there in the same file but in this one what we did only the main data was captured and the pivot table was made into this and all the backup data were kept in the respective files as it is so uh, this is a power query and this is a, again a very strong tool mostly most most used in the companies and how they Uh, link through many of the data, then they make a particular MIS, and then how do they update the reports? As you could see that for updating the sales data, I just had to copy paste the content into that one particular file, and all those connections were uh, brought in with the Power Query uh, help of the Power Query that Pivot was updated. So uh, this is how uh, like Power Query will work. We will be uh, seeing like. one example i will walk through for how you can make from a very scratch how you can make your own such queries and connections and how you can work around so stay tuned stay tuned uh, with the channel and we'll be coming up with uh, many such videos in uh, upcoming time so thanks thanks for watching and yeah stay tuned